Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are nine mathematicians from nine different countries. They were present in the Independence Day parade of India. A reporter asked them when do they observe their Independence Day, and they responded as the product of the date and month of their Independence Day. Okay, so what do we mean by product of date and month? Like for example. If it is fifteenth of August, so it will be fifteen into eight date into month. So these are the responses given by the people. Okay. Now we are given some more hints about these, and uh, all countries have Independence Day in different months. So months have to be different. Three countries have Independence Day on the same date. Date means this part. Okay, not the complete thing. And another two of them have it on the same dates, different from the previous ones. So three countries on the same date. Let us say A A A. Two countries on the same date. Okay. The rest of them have it on different dates. Every year Greece observes its Independence Day before Argentina. Fiji observes its Independence Day in the next month after PNG. Okay. So. We will write these numbers as factors uh, of uh, the product of its factors and use these conditions to find out. Okay, so Pakistan is one hundred and twelve, South Africa is one hundred and eight, Argentina sixty three, Bahrain one ninety two, Fiji hundred, Greece seventy five, Kuwait fifty. New Zealand two seventy five and PNG one forty four. Okay, now there are multiple ways to write these numbers. Like for example, one hundred and twelve can be written as twenty eight into four. One thing you need to keep in mind is month has to be less than equal to twelve. Okay, it cannot exceed twelve, and date cannot exceed thirty one in any case. Right? Uh, in this. Uh, there are some months with 30 days also, so you are not getting any of such number which is a multiple of 31. So you do not need to worry about that. So month factor consider that it should be less than 12. So 112, one of the factors is 4. Then 7 is also a factor, so it can be 16 into 7. Okay, then it could be 14 into 8. So multiple possibilities. Likewise for South Africa, we can have 108. That is. Twenty-seven uh, into four because if we take three, it is thirty-six into three. Then we might have eighteen into six, then twelve into nine, nine into twelve. If you see the first question, it also gives such options. Okay, so likewise for every country, we might have multiple possibilities. So let us start with the conditions that are given. That Fiji observes Independence Day in the next month after PNG. So Fiji is hundred. Hundred can be twenty into five, twenty-five into four. First possibility is twenty-five into four. Then we can have twenty into five. Then we can have ten into ten. Three possibilities, and PNG is one forty-four. Now one forty-four can be twenty-four into six. Then it can be eighteen into eight, sixteen into nine. And twelve into twelve. Okay. Now it says Fiji next month after PNG. So PNG only possibility that we can see is sixteen nine and ten ten. Okay. So Fiji is next month. So that is why we'll take this case. Right. So PNG we get sixteen nine and Fiji is ten into ten. Like if you make cases of all these, you will get New Zealand only one possibility, which is twenty-five into eleven. For all others, you will get multiple possibilities. Then let us use the last statement also because it looks easy. South Africa two months and two days after Kuwait. Okay, South Africa is hundred and eight. Now hundred and eight, we have written these possibilities. Let us write for Kuwait also. Kuwait is fifty. So fifty can be. Twenty-five into two, then we can have five, ten uh, into five, and five into ten. Okay, so it is two months and two days. So add two months and two days. Twelve and seven, not possible. Seven and twelve, not possible. But if you add two days, we get twenty-seven. 
two days twenty uh, that is four that is only one possibility. Okay, so Kuwait is twenty five of February and South Africa is twenty seventh of April. Okay, so these are also done. Now we are left with some other countries. Okay, uh, Greece observes uh, before Argentina. Okay, so Greece. Uh, uh, we'll see for the possibilities. Like Argentina is sixty-three. Sixty-three can be twenty-one into three. It can be uh, nine into seven. It can be seven into nine. Okay, and uh, then we have Greece. Greece is seventy-five. So seventy-five can be twenty-five into three, and fifteen into five. Now Greece is before Argentina. So Argentina cannot be twenty-one March because Greece cannot be before Argentina in that case. So Greece has to be either of these two, okay? And also, uh, Argentina can be any of these. Now there is one more statement which says that three countries have independence on the same date. Another two have on same uh, so on on uh, another two dates, okay? Now we will have to find three such numbers that are factors of all these numbers. So we have written one hundred and twelve, one hundred and eight, fifty. Okay, and then we have sixty-three, uh, seventy-five. We need to think of other numbers also, like Bahrain, and that is the only country that is left to write. So. We have written three seven. Two more are pending. One is Bahrain, which is one ninety two. That can be written as twenty four into eight, and then we can have sixteen into twelve. That is also a possibility. Okay, so this is written. Argentina, we have written Bahrain. Fiji is done. Greece is done. Kuwait, New Zealand. So these are all done. Okay. Now New Zealand is obviously twenty-five into eleven, right? So one of the numbers can be twenty-five, which comes three times because we see twenty-five coming here, twenty-five coming here, twenty-five can come here also. Okay. Let us think of other numbers which are possible. If you look at the numbers, sixteen is also possible thrice. See, sixteen can come here also. It is already present in this. And sixteen can come in Bahrain also, right? So we may have sixteen also thrice. So we have either sixteen or twenty-five. So let us try with sixteen. So if we put sixteen here, let's say sixteen into seven, sixteen into twelve, and sixteen into nine. We are saying that one of the dates is repeating thrice. Okay. Now what will happen is, uh. Now let us look at Argentina. Argentina uh, is sixty-three. Twenty-one into three is gone. Now nine into seven is not possible because seventh month is already taken. Similarly, seven into nine is also not possible because ninth month is already taken. So these two are not possible. This means that our assumption is wrong. So sixteen cannot come thrice. So it has to be twenty-five, which will come thrice. So Greece will be twenty-fifth of March. Okay. So Greece is also done. Now we have another two of them have it on the same dates, different from the previous one. Now what could that date be? Now if you look at the values, very possible value is sixteen. Okay, sixteen comes here as well, and sixteen comes. Here. One of these will be sixteen. Okay. Now. What if we put uh, let's say we put sixteen into seven here? Okay, so if we put sixteen into seven here, then what will happen? Argentina will be seven into nine. Okay, so that is not possible because like nine is already taken. Okay, so we cannot have sixteen into seven because. Like if we take sixteen of July, so this will be ruled out. This will be ruled out because both the months are already taken. So we will have, we will not have this as sixteen into seven. We will have sixteen into twelve. And also, since 
PNG has ninth month taken, so Argentina only possibility is nine into seven. Okay, now nine into seven. This means uh, like uh, we should have done it the reverse way. Like we would have done with Argentina first. So Argentina is nine into seven. Now we cannot have Pakistan as sixteen into seven. We have to make a product of sixteen, which is not possible here. So it will be in Bahrain, sixteen into twelve. So sixteen uh, seven is not possible. Now twenty eight into four is not possible because South Africa is already celebrating in April, different months. So only possibility is fourteenth of August. Now one interesting thing which you will realize is. these are the actual dates on which these countries observe their independence days okay so i have taken uh, like i took uh, went through the independence day of some of the countries and on the occasion of independence day thought of this set and created this okay so when does south africa observes its independence day that is on 27th of april which country observes its independence day in december so december we have fiji celebrating its sorry december is the 12th month so in december we have bahrain celebrating its independence day which of these countries is the first among the given countries to observe its independence day so first is the order is kuwait which observes in february itself on which date does png observe its independence day so png observes its independence day on 16th date is asked so date we will use 16 Which of these pairs of countries observe their independence days on the same date? Okay, Fiji and New Zealand. New Zealand is twenty-five. Fiji is ten. No. Then we have Argentina and South Africa. Argentina is so different dates. Kuwait and Fiji, again not the correct one. PNG and Bahrain. So PNG on sixteen and Bahrain also on sixteen. So that is the pair that celebrate on the same day. Okay, so I hope you found this set interesting. Uh, something which I created on the occasion of Independence Day. So please don't forget to like this video.